boy. Hey Arnold gets disturbing. Now this show right here holds a very special place in my heart. I mean, this show had meaningful moments, disturbing moments, funny moments, you name it. Now today's video is more on the disturbing side. Today we're going to be taking a look at season four, episode four. <laughs> Also, if you stick around for the end of this video, I will be asking you guys a very important question that involves a part two of this episode. So please be sure to leave a like and subscribe if you would like. And without further ado, let's get into this video. Now this episode kicks off with Arnold and Lola just randomly standing in front of the movie theater when Arnold asks Lola if she would like to go see Evil Twin 2, which Lola declines because she says she doesn't really enjoy scary movies. Arnold then follows up with another suggestion, asking her if she wanted to go see this other movie instead, The Enchanted Bunnies of Happy Forest. Lola says the movie looks sweet, but that she would rather not go see it. Arnold was a bit confused because he knew for a fact Lola liked those type of movies when Lola tells Arnold it wasn't because of the movie in fact she was brutally honest and says it's you now I felt so bad for Arnold in this very moment you can literally see the pain in his eyes because if you have watched this show then you know Arnold has been liking Lola since forever Lola to Arnold is basically what Trixie is to Timmy a girl he's really interested in but can't get now Lola tells Arnold that she's sorry but that that she has told him time after time that she doesn't like him like him and that going to the movies is something you do with someone you really like. She says she hopes he understands when Arnold says to Lola, I really just don't understand why you don't like me like me because we get along so well. She tells Arnold that he just isn't that oh so special person she has been looking for, apologizes and tells him she has to get home. Now after this, Helga weird ass pops up from behind the corner revealing that she had been listening to Arnold and Lola's entire conversation. She was basically happy about the fact that Arnold got dissed. Now when I think about it, Helga was definitely a deranged lunatic and a stalker. We were children literally watching her stalk this man, bruh. But anyways, Arnold gets home when he sees grandpa sitting on the stoop waiting on him. He asked Arnold if he had forgot about his cousin Arnie that was coming to visit him. And granddad says while Arnold was at school, he had to spend a whole day with the weirdo. If granddad called this man weird, he's definitely weird. Arnold knocks on the bathroom door and calls Arnie's name. This is when his cousin steps out the bathroom with the blankest expression. Hey Arnie. Hey. How's it going? What have you been up to? I've been reading the ingredients on the shampoo bottle. Now, if you listen to the way Arnie talks and just observe him standing right next to Arnold, it's clear to me that the writers had the intentions of making him the complete opposite of Arnold. It's almost like this isn't even his cousin, but just him from a parallel universe. Now, the family are having dinner and everyone is just looking at Arnie like he's crazy because the way he eats is just terrible. He literally has no manners. Now, everyone tries to make conversation with Arnie and Oscar's wife actually him what are some of his hobbies this is when this man says he likes to count things i like to count things count things susie what kind of stupid answer is that now i kind of agree with oscar like what kind of weird answer was that she asks him what else he's interested in when this man says gum plain flavored gum like at this point are you even trying to engage in the conversation my guy oscar's wife was like all right bruh maybe this man is actually a bit slow or a lot ernie calls him a loser which is kind of ironic coming from him because i don't just see this man swimming in pussy out here mr wind then says he is also hideous to look at i mean just going in on my guy 
guy. We are taken to the next day when we see Stinky and Arno on the playground discussing Arnie when Stinky tells Arno he looks just like him, only uglier. He also says he talks just like him, but only dumber. Arno was like, man, I know, but could you at least try to be nice to him while he's here? Because I mean, he is still my cousin. We then see Arnie being weird as hell when he walks up to Rhonda and Nadine and asks them if they wanted to touch the lint he collects. Rhonda looked at Nadine and then looked at her watch like, you remember that thing we had to do earlier? Yeah, me either, but let's get the f away from this guy. He passes by Helga and Phoebe and Helga says, oh man, what a dweeb just walking around looking like a less attractive version of my baby Arnold. How dare you? Stinky says, man, I'll try to get to know him, but he makes it pretty hard to like him. Now, this is when things start to get weird. Lila sees Arnold's cousin and is totally in love. I mean, just look at how she's looking at my guy. Arnie seems to be into Lila as well. Now, before we cut into the next scene, let's just take a quick look at the situation. Remember, she had just turned down Arnold a few days earlier she literally told my guy Arnold he just wasn't that oh so special person that she was looking for but yet she seems to be interested in Arnie who is just like Arnold but worse in every way but anyways so Arnold tells his granddad since Arnie has plans tonight he would just go and see a movie now pay close attention to the movie Arnold is going to see which is evil twin 2 now Arnie was reading the back labels on his candy because we all know this man loves to read the labels on things and Lila is just so impressed by this. She says, Gosh, Arnie, it's just ever so impressive the way you read all those big words. I'm talking about just impressed by the slightest thing. Arnie then says he's going to get some popcorn and as he's walking out, Arnold is walking in. He is super surprised when he sees Lila at the movie that she claimed she wasn't interested in. But we see that was obviously a lie. He asked her what she was doing here because she had said earlier she wasn't into scary movies. He says, I thought you didn't like scary movies. She says, uh, I don't. This is when Arnie walks up and Arnold asks Lila if he could speak to her in private. He tells Lila that he really appreciates her, but that she didn't need to hang around Arnie just because she felt sorry for him. Lila was like, uh, Arnold, I'm afraid you have it all wrong. I don't feel bad for Arnie, and I'm certain I don't think he's weird. As a matter of fact, I've fallen madly in love with him. Arnold was like, whoa, whoa. Hold the f on. Let me get this straight. You don't like me, but you like Arnie. Arnold says, how could you possibly prefer him over me? She then says, oh, I guess he just has that special something, bruh. Like every time he tries to get a legitimate answer out of her, he just can't. It's always her going on about how he just doesn't have that special touch. She's on that bull if you ask me. Also, we see some very weird activity come from Helga because apparently she had been at the movie theater also while all of this took place. Now, I don't believe for a second that it was just a coincidence that Helga was also at the movie seeing that particular movie that same day. Remember earlier? Earlier, it was shown that she was spying on Arnold and Lila's conversation about the movies. So she decided to bring her weird there, probably knowing Arnold was still going to see that movie regardless of if he got curved or not. Anyways, it's the next day and we see Arnold on the bus just looking sad because Lila and Arnie was just flirting in front of this man. And over the course of this day, it just seems like Arnold can't avoid these two. Everywhere he turns, he just sees a less attractive version of himself just booed up with the girl of his dreams. My god, Arnold is definitely going out sad right now. I mean, just look at the saltiness in this man's face. <laughs> it looks like he wants that fade with his cousin. This is when this man Stinky walks up and was like, Man, I just can't understand how she chose your dull cousin over you. I mean, you aren't the best looking guy, Arnold, but you damn sure look better than him. Arnold gets mad like Stinky. Okay, bruh, I get it. <laughs> this man Stinky was not helping the situation at all. It's the next 
next day on the bus when Helga comes sits beside Arnold and asks him if he was still upset about his cousin taking his girl. Arnold is just still in shock over the fact that she prefers his cousin over him. Helga tells Arnold that if he pretended to be into another girl, maybe that would make Lila like him. She says this way, Lila will be jealous and will come crawling back to him. I saw right through Helga's bullshit because she only suggested this so she could fake a fake relationship with Arnold for a few days to satisfy her thirst for him. So they begin this plan and Helga tells Arnold to brush her hair when Lila walks by to get her attention. Which it does but Lila was booed up with Arnie not giving two dams. After this didn't work, Helga gets Arnold to massage her feet in the middle of the bus so Lila and Arnie would have to walk past them. So next this gets disgusting when Helga takes her gum out of her mouth and puts it right into Arnold's. Like this man Arnold is just down bad at this point. So next they are sitting in the lunchroom sharing a chocolate milk when Lila gives Arnie a gift. And as we can see this man is just not interested in what she's saying at all. Arnie then tells Lila that he needs to talk to her in private and after this he walks up to Helga and asks Arnold if he could talk to Helga alone for a few minutes. This is when he says that he broke up with Lila because he had other feelings. He tells Helga that he's actually in love with her. While he's telling her this Arnold is sitting next to Lila trying to comfort her when she says she just doesn't understand why he did this because they got along so well. Arnold then pulls a reverse Uno card because this man says well, Maybe he just wasn't that oh so special someone you've been looking for. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> Bruh, Arnold was being serious when he said this, but it was just a little funny to me that he used that same bullshit on her that she was using on him earlier. She thanks Arnold for being there for her and asks if he could do her one more favor. This is when she asks my guy Arnold to take his hand off her shoulder because she doesn't like like him, she just likes him. Man, if going outside was a person right now, it would definitely be Arnold. <laughs> we then see Helga sitting there getting tortured by this man Arnie. This episode was very weird to me and I want you guys to voice your opinion about this episode in the comments down below. Also if you made it this far into the video you are a true viewer and I really value your opinion. So there is an episode similar to this one where Arnold gets to visit Arnie in his hometown. So if I did that episode it would basically be a part 2 to this one. So let me know if you guys want to see that down below and until next time time. Peace.